Hello and welcome to another SyncGraph Scenario tutorial. I'm Abel, Product Specialist at Zeiss. Today we're going to run through the CAN bar offset procedure. So first, what is the CAN bar offset and why is it important? The CAN bar offset calculates the positional difference between the CAN bar and the main camera. It is essential that these two devices know exactly where they are in relation to one another at all times. So when the main camera pans, tilts or translates in a direction, the CAN bar understands exactly where it has moved. This is why the CAN bar is always mounted directly to the main camera body. The CAN bar offset procedure works out the distance between the CAN bar sensor and the image sensor of the main camera. The fiducial marker, as seen here, is used as a static reference point for both cameras to detect and to determine their distance from. The instant recovery side of the chart is the side that we will use as part of this process. So we'll start off with an easy case setup with the cam bar facing directly forwards. So first we want to ensure the cam bar is rigid and securely mounted to the main camera body. We want to ensure that when the camera moves that the cam bar is locked into position and doesn't slip. So once securely rigged we can start the process. So let's jump into the software and start our cam bar offset. We simply enter the cam bar offset tab. From here, SyncGraph Scenario will now guide us through the process in five easy steps. The first page is an explanation of the process with some tips for the best results. So step one, Scenario will ask you to confirm the current lens and camera being used. Step two, you can adjust the exposure and gain of the cam bar to ensure good visibility of the fiducial chart. Step three, you are asked to place the fiducial marker in front of the camera rig. Step four, adjust the camera rig so the cam bar can see the fiducial chart. A green outline will confirm when it has been identified. Step five, we adjust the camera rig so that the main camera can now see the fiducial chart. Again, this will be confirmed by the green outline. It is worth noting that with both cameras facing the same direction, it's likely that you will not need to adjust the camera rig in step five. With the calibration now complete, we can see the physical position of the two devices within the 3D view. The position you see here should represent the real life orientation of the two cameras. But what happens when the cam bar isn't mounted forwards? Perhaps we have it tilted up at the ceiling and we're using our IR markers for tracking. So let's have a look. Here I have the cam bar tilted upwards. The same process applies if the cam bar is facing to the left, to the right, or even towards the ground. So we will now go through the same process we did previously, but this time we will tilt the entire camera rig appropriately when we need to identify the fiducial chart. Again, we will run through the five steps. You're also able to skip the walkthrough guide once you're comfortable with the process. Once complete, you can leave this window and check the position of the two cameras in your 3D view. Here, you can see the new orientation of the two devices. There can be times when the cam bar offset is incorrect. This is an example of what that would look like. Here are the key variables to check and look out for if you do have an incorrect offset. First is the image sensor. So this process is driven by the image sensor of the camera in your equipment tab, along with the lens calibration information. And with this data, Scenario can calculate the offset between the two cameras. It is vital that the correct image sensor size is selected within your equipment tab, and it should match the settings of your actual camera. 
Let's change the image sensor to an incorrect size and redo the camera bar offset. Here you can see that the distance in the 3D view between the cameras is huge. And clearly the two devices are not that far away from each other. This camera bar offset is due to an incorrect image sensor. This error usually occurs when you have input the wrong image sensor size for your camera in your equipment tab or the camera format on the camera has been changed. Now let's change the format back to its correct setting and redo the calibration. So now the issue is resolved and we can see that the two devices are represented correctly in the 3D view. Selecting the wrong lens in the software can also lead to an incorrect cam bar offset. Here we have mounted an 18mm lens on our physical camera, but in the software we have selected a 40mm lens. This can lead to an incorrect cam bar offset. And again, if the cam bar is not securely mounted, there is a chance that when the camera rig is moved to detect the fiducial chart, that the cam bar will move independently from the main camera. And this will affect the overall calculation and alignment between our two devices. Another aspect to be aware of is using the correct fiducial chart. So the fiducial chart is double-sided. You must have the instant recovery side facing the camera as this is the unique pattern that the software is looking for. As highlighted during the cam bar offset process, you can adjust the exposure and gain of the cam bar to ensure good visibility of the fiducial chart. Finally, ensure the fiducial chart is in focus within the main camera. You can rack the focus so that the chart is clearly visible. As you can see, the camera bar offset process is done following a few simple steps. Once complete, the system will auto save the new cam bar offset position. So now you know everything about the cam bar offset procedure. For more information, you can visit our website. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next tutorial.